going on today guys it is your boy troy so today i'm up at tri-state ford in maryville bringing you another vehicle review this time i'm doing a little something different so what i'm going to do today is go over the differences between a 2018 ford raptor and a 2012 ford raptor so the 2012 ford raptor is my ford raptor it has a 6.2 liter v8 non-turbocharged motor has right around 410 horse the 2018 ford raptor has a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged v6 motor with 10 speed automatic transmission which produces just about the same horsepower 2018 ford raptor you have these beautiful looking headlights and then you have your ford emblem that always comes on a ford raptor you have your front camera with a little spraying like its own little washer fluid on your camera so your camera is always cleaned off versus your 2012 ford raptor where you have your regular headlights your ford emblem flies on the 2012 ford raptor and the 2018 ford raptor are not a whole lot different they kept the same similar design on the 2018 Ford Raptor as they did on the 2012 Ford Raptor. So even on the 2012 Ford Raptor where they're 35s, on the 2018 Ford Raptor, they're right about 35s. They're just about the same height. Uh, this has 315 70 17s, where this has 35 12, 5, 12 5 17. Both trucks come with Fox Racing suspension. The 2018 Ford Raptor has your touch pad up here to unlock your truck and is completely keyless. Another cool thing is the side steps on the 2018 Ford Raptor are electric. So you close the door, they'll go up. Open the door, they come down. Now the interior on the 2018 got a whole lot better. So you have carbon fiber on the sides, you have carbon fiber on your shifter, carbon fiber on the other door, and carbon fiber in the dash. The 2012 model, your touch pad is right here. Open her up. You, you don't have no carbon fiber. You know, you have your doors, automatic uh, mirrors, no carbon fiber, but you do have your couple steering wheel controls navigation you know obviously this is a 2012 model so they were just coming out started in 2010 with the Ford Raptor so it's getting better as it goes every 2012 year. Ford Raptor all your controls are right here your auxiliary controls then you have your you have your off-road mode your downhill assist mode your heated and cooled seats I mean navigation climate control um, traction control on and off, four wheel drive button, your trailer brake button. On the button. 2012 Ford Raptor, you do have automatic headlights. You have your forward and backwards on your uh, brake pedal and gas pedal, a couple steering wheel controls. Um, the speedometer on it is okay looking. I mean, it ain't horrible. On my particular model, I do have a sunroof where that 2018 model that we're looking at does not have 2018 a sunroof. Model has a lot nicer setup uh you have all your switches up here for your auxiliary you don't have a sunroof but that's okay because other models do so on the 2018 ford raptor you have a 3.5 liter v6 twin turbocharger motor and you get 15 miles per gallon in the city 18 miles per gallon on the highway which really isn't too bad this particular 2018 model is up at Tri-State Ford in Maryville. I will put a link in the description for it. It's for sale for $60,000. Now, it's worth every penny to me compared to my 2012 Ford Raptor, which I paid $30,000 for. It's a little older, but the Ford Raptors hold their value. So you could buy a Ford Raptor and it'll still be valued a lot more than a regular F-150 when it comes time to sell it. I'll put a link in the description for the 2018 Ford Raptor. If you're interested in the 2019 or 2018 Ford Raptor, it's a Tri-State Ford for $60,000. 
Um, they also have two other Ford Raptors. They have two, two 2019 Ford Raptors that are white. And they're both really, really beautiful. So, so make sure to come check out Tri-State Ford in Maryville. Some pretty neat things about this truck. So this thing has paddle shifters, has carbon fiber all over the place. So if you're a carbon fiber fan, obviously you would love this truck. This thing has your uh, blind spot detection, has your front and rear cameras, and your front camera even has uh, its own like windshield washer or windshield, yeah, windshield wash, washer deal, but it's for a camera. So your washer, uh, camera washer, keep it clean so you can always see in the front which is pretty awesome um the leather in this feels comfortable it doesn't feel fake um there's carbon fiber on the doors there's carbon fiber on the shifter like look at that carbon fiber that thing is beautiful there's carbon fiber down here like i said on the door this thing is just beautiful the steering wheel is beautiful. This steering wheel has all sorts of controls. You have steering wheel controls on this thing where you have normal, sport mode, and comfort mode for your steering feel, which would be like your suspension in, in a sense. And then you have your modes, your drive modes, which you have like your normal drive mode, sport mode, weather, sand, mud sand, um, Baja, and rock crawl and then it does shift it in a four-wheel drive for you which we're not going to do that the gauge cluster on this compared to mine is a lot nicer there's so many more options on this one compared to the 2012 model so of course you know 2018 2019 they upped their game made everything a lot nicer to keep it up with the times you have your radio over here you have your heated and cooled seats all your AC controls, which are really nicely laid out. Then you have your trailer backup, which is really nice. I like the way they did the design on this. And they kept it up with like your four wheel drive. And they even did it over here with your headlights. You know, you have automatic headlights. You have your controls for your foot, your uh, foot pedals down here, your uh, lights right here for your speedometer and your inside lights. All right, so now we have your radio. You can control all sorts of stuff on here, right? So you have your audio you can control. Uh, you have different sources. You have XM radio, Bluetooth, AM, FM, and a CD player. Then you can control your climate. You can control each side, has a dual air, a heated seat or a heated steering wheel. You have your phone controls, your navigation, couple different apps and then up here you have your downhill assist which is like when you're pulling a trailer you can press this button and uh, it'll keep you going the perfect speed for your trailer so you're not like constantly holding your brakes then you have your traction control and this is a really neat feature it's uh I can't remember the exact name. So if you can think of it, make sure to put it down in the comments, but it's like an automatic start kind of deal where when you go to a stoplight, you can press this or you can press this whenever you get in your car and it's your auto start stop switch. So right now it's off, but whenever it's on, which it's on right now, the truck will shut off when you come to a stoplight, it'll shut off. And once you let off the brake, it'll start back up. So it saves you gas, which helps you when you have a big truck like this. And then you have your hazards. And then you also have multiple cameras on this. So this is kind of cool. This is a, a roof view of the truck. So this would be like looking down on it, which is kind of neat the way this works because it moves with the truck. So it's like having your own satellite looking down on your truck and then you have your backup camera here and if you look at this this is your front camera down here you have your uh, USB ports two of them 
Uh, you have your lane detection here. This is your center console. You have a little tray right here for you know change and whatnot. And you have a pretty nice storage compartment here. You have a cigarette lighter and you have a 110 outlet. So you can't go wrong with having a cigarette lighter and a 110 outlet in your vehicle. You have your automatic start. So push button start, keyless start. So you don't have to worry about any of that Over stuff. Here you have your window controls, your mirror controls. Um, down here you have your lock and unlock. Um, then you have three different modes you can set on your driver's side seat so that if you drive, your wife drives, your other wife drives, your, each person that drives your truck has their own seat already programmed into the truck. Here you have your light, your lights, dome lights, and this is your door lights. So then back here you have your all your auxiliary switches for all sorts of different features you could put on your truck. You know, you can have light bars, fog lights, tow or tow winches. I mean, you can have anything you want and it's just uh, easy, easy to wire it up right into this. And then this is for your uh, rear sliding window. It's an automatic rear sliding window. So driving this truck, the feel of this truck is really nice. It's sporty. So obviously you're driving a Raptor. So a Raptor is going to feel more sporty than most other vehicles. When you're looking for the perfect off-road truck, this is going to be it because this baby is perfect for off-road. All the different modes and features it has. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram, Snapchat. I got all my stuff on there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos, hit that subscribe. I'm going to keep doing vehicle reviews. If you have any vehicles in mind, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Hopefully you guys like the videos. Tell me what you like.